See your comment denominator is going to be 63. 16. Up to me. 28. Oh, thank you. 15 times 7. Oh, good, good, good. Okay, good four over wow. Hi everyone, welcome back to Maggie UK. This is Maggie. Hope everyone is fine. Today my topic is going to be about subtracting fraction by using a normal fraction as well as your mixed numbers. So keep watch up to the end, otherwise, you will miss uh, some of the important bits um, while I'm teaching. Uh, please like, share, subscribe to my channel. Let's begin. Students, are we ready to move to subtracting fraction? Miss, yes, miss, I forgot to bring my pencil. Oh, again? Yes. Okay, here is the pencil. Thank you, miss. Can we start now? Yes. yes. Okay, so the first thing is we have a number which is 5 over 4. Take away from 1 over the 4. So if you see here, the same thing we did. Uh, if you look at my previous video, I've done adding fraction. It's the same, but only the sign is going to be the different. So the common denominator here is 4, we have to take 4 here common and then you take away 5, take away 1. That is 4 mom. Okay good, 4 over 4, what, what will happen after this? It's over because we, 1. Okay good, because 4 over 1 is nothing but you can write a 1 whole of that number. Okay well done, next one. Stanley you want to um, give answer for this? Yes. Okay, so if we see here 6 over 7 minus take away 3 over 5, so we need to find the common denominator. So what do you think the common denominator will be? Times 5. Is that, um, what is, tell me first what is the common denominator? 7, 35. 35, okay good. So that means we need to times by 5 and, and times then. Times by 7. Okay. And then what we need to do is we just have to times 6 times 5 is 30 and the bottom one is sorry 35 and then take away 21 21 over 35 35 so see now is very easy because like the same step here we have same common denominator so we write the common denominator and then we need to take 30 take away 21 so your answer will be 9, Nine over 35. 35. So we can't simplify this. So that is your answer. Hope you understood this. Yes, yes, I yes. Win. Very easy. Very good, Stanley. Keep it up. Okay, now in this one, if you see you have a mixed number, this is a normal fraction. So, first, what we need to do is, boys, hope you got this one before we did like adding subtraction. What do you need to do if you have a mixed number? To change it into an improper fraction. Good. We need to change that to an improper fraction. James, can you tell me how you change your <coughs> improper mix mix to an improper fraction? Sure. Times and then add. Good. So times and add. So which will be what? Twelve. Twelve. And then and then you have to add, add them so three. fifteen over four. Okay, fifteen over four. And then you, then you bring as it is this one. So now we need to find the common denominator, which we should be, we need to times this by 7 and times this by 4 to bring your common denominator. So which will be 28, 15 times 7, 105, 105, very good, you are writing, your multiplication is excellent. Yes, thank you mom. Okay, this one will be 20, 28. So now if you see there's a common denominator, we just have to take away the what top, top number, which is 105, which is your numerator. So 105 take away 20, anyone quickly voice. 85. 85, 28. So what do, you, what do you think about this when you got this one? Anyone have any clue that what you need to be doing this what do you need to do when you have a bigger number on the numerator and the smaller number in the denominator to be make it into a mixed number mixed number so 28 times how many times 20 three. goes in 85 three. Three. 3 okay good what will be your balance what will be your balance boys come on hurry up 1 
one over the eight. Is that boys are you checking? Is that right? No, mom, you have to make twenty-eight. Oh, thank you. I, I was why I'm putting this one is because I want to see everyone is awake. Okay. Good. Excellent, boys. Okay, now I'm going to move on to this question. If you see here, we have one of the fraction as a normal fraction, but here we have both number as a mixed number. So, who wants to say this? Me, me, me. Okay. So now, can we convert this first? So first you have to do times and then add. Sorry, I'm going to change my pen. Times and then, and then add. add. Times and, and add. add. Okay, so what will be the first? 3 so times 7 is? 21. 21 as 4. 25 over 7. And then you have to take away from 27. So that will be 32 over 9. 32 over 9. Good. What will be your common denominator is going to be? 63. 63. Okay, good. So that means what we need to do here? Times over by? 9. nine. Times by 9. You have to times by 7. Times by 7. So that gives you a 63. And then 25 what? times 9, I think it's 225. Is that right? Recheck it. Mm, Let me yes, see. Correct. Five. Yes, good. Okay. And then you have to take with 32 times 7, which I believe is 224. 224. And then over 63. 63. So now we got the same denominator. We are going to put the same denominator and then we are going to do this 25. Man, that's easy. That's 1 over 60. Yeah, that's very easy to take away. So this one, we can't bring it back to mixed number because we already have one, which is your numerator, smallest number, denominator, a bigger number. So well done, boys. James. Thank you, me. Thank you, okay, hope you understood this. Yes, mom. Hope, guys, you understood this topic. Yes, okay. Please put your valuable comments so then I can improve my ways in my next video. Mom, can I be your next video? Yes, more videos is coming. Keep watching. Don't forget to subscribe my channel. Press the bell button so that you get all my videos as your notification. Until I see you next time in another video, Maggie signing off from you. Bye. Please subscribe to my mom channel.